big changes are ahead for the 50 Highway and 291 North Corridor in Lee Summit. Here's all the information on the highway makeover. It's a complete reconstruction of the 291 North interchange. The problem is that the interchange is over 50 years old and MoDOT doesn't have the funds to do much of anything except resurface the bridge if they were to, to do anything on their own. So the city has worked on a partnership with MoDOT and several other state agencies and other, uh, other partners to arrange for a complete reconstruction of the interchange and that includes moving Blue Parkway, which is located to the north of the interchange, farther to the north. One of the main problems with the interchange and its functionality is Blue Parkway is too close to the interchange, and so over the years that has caused many traffic problems, a uh, high degree of um, traffic incidents. It's of all the major intersections in the city, it has the highest incident of traffic uh, incidents. So it's a very important project for the city and the state to address. Going into the project, we knew that we had to have separate coordination with Missouri Department of Transportation, MoDOT, with uh, Missouri Highway Patrol, the Office of Administration, which is a state agency that handles the funding for the Missouri Highway Patrol, and then some of the other entities that are associated with uh, geographically with the area, such as the school district, uh, and integration of the project with the Lee Summit High School campus and the improvements that are happening on the campus and then also coordination with um, Quick Trip on the east side of, of 291 North that is planning on moving their store to a new location as part of this overall uh, change in the configuration of the interchange. And so we've had to deal with multiple parties and we have arranged for contracts with each of those parties and the city's sort of the, the go-between amongst all those entities to make the project happen. The, Schedule going forward under the cost share agreement is the design of the interchange will happen in 2022 and then it's projected that construction will happen starting in uh, 2023 and finishing in fall to late 2024. So if everything goes as planned, we should have a new interchange by the end of 24. At this point, the city has a preferred configuration, which we've shown to the city council in, in our presentations. It doesn't look like the roundabout arrangement at 291 South. It's more of a traditional um, ramp arrangement that you see with most interchanges, so it doesn't have a round, the roundabout feature. Um, but we do have a preferred design um, going into the project, and that's what will be reviewed further through the public input process as the design starts in 2022. Substantial benefits to, first and foremost, traffic safety and traffic circulation. As I mentioned, the fact that Blue Parkway is too close to the interchange causes a lot of congestion, which has led to a lot of traffic incidents. And by moving Blue Parkway and expanding the capacity for the interchange uh, should relieve the traffic congestion, should reduce the number of traffic incidents, both collisions and, and number of injuries. Better circulation for the high school. So traffic going to and coming from the high school, that should be much improved for the benefit of the students and the school district. Uh, and then with the redevelopment opportunities that this will open up after the Troop A facility moves to a new location in the city, that will open up about a four acre parcel for development of commercial, uh, commercial development right there at the northwest quadrant of the interchange. And the hope is for the long term with the improved interchange and improved traffic circulation, uh, a lot of the businesses along that corridor um, could experience some redevelopment. So the hope is over time, you'll see some improved commercial development along the corridor, uh, extending north along 291, um, possibly all the way to uh, you know, several major intersections to the north. So the hope is uh, a lot of redevelopment along the corridor.